let's uh let's go ahead and upgrade i know it's a lot of resources but we want to be able to f seal up the house and you know it's, it's wood but i think in the end it's gonna be better uh can we make some we got no fuel so let's chop it down what can you do Let's do three things of fuel, not just for the uh, cooking, but for anything. No, we don't want to end the day yet. What do we got? Um, not much we can do. We could make a chair, but that's really not that great of a chair. So we'll just wait and do one of these when we get the ability to do it. I kind of want to do a knife, but we haven't made that table yet. That's going to require a little bit of wood and some more parts. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the day right there. It's almost 7 p.m. anyways, which is uh, when the night starts. So we'll just kind of hold off here until it does it for us. Let's see, who was sick? It was Pavel. Pavel was the one that's sick, so he's going to stay home and sleep it off. He's a very fast runner, though. Okay, so let's look at our space. Zalata, bolster spirits. I really don't want to send her out there to die. But I think we're okay with her being on scavenging duty. Sleep in a bed. Yes, Pavel definitely needs to sleep in a bed. And we're going to put Anton on guard duty. We're also going to put her on guard duty as well. Yeah, we're going to try that out. So there's different places here this time. There's a, a semi-detached house, a uh, decrepit squat over there, and the shelled cottage. So we'll give it a shot. We're going to take nothing with us. We don't have any lockpicks to really take advantage of. I think we're fine. I hope. <laughs> this house is still burning. I hope it's safe to go in. Uh, so do I. I have never seen a house on fire as we've gone through it. We need food? Oh my god, so many ingredients here. So we'll leave that there. We're going to go inside. What do we got? Uh, nothing that we really want there. Nope, we don't want to go into combat mode. Mm, we're gonna put a little bit away. We're gonna put some. We want the food. Let's get the carrots. And we'll put one more stack away. And we'll get the water. Mm, I think that's all we're gonna be able to take with us. Yep. But we're going to search the rest while we're here. Just kind of see what's available to us so we can make plans for coming back. There are some uh, herbs here. Sometimes they help. Sometimes they don't. Still better than nothing. So we do got to pick up one of those. Yeah. We're going to pick up one of these. Medication tastes terrible. Can save your life from sickness. One of our guys was sick. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time clearing this away so we don't have to do it uh, tomorrow night. It's going pretty well so far. Kind of, I want to go upstairs, but there's flames out there, so I kind of don't. The last thing I want to do is get her injured. I'm going to send Pavel tomorrow. Pavel is a very fast runner, and if you got to run through fire... You know, the shortest amount of time you got to spend in there, I think, is the better choice out of the two. Come on, you can do it, lady. Pretty good haul for day one. Like, I'm, I'm happy with this. Got the medication. Didn't get any bandages. Eh. I'm going to try to build that as soon as possible, that bandage dump thing again.
Especially considering how much the medication, the, the healing stuff, is worth to the traders. Like, I get so many trips of wood and, and gears by selling them just one thing of medication. Pretty much like two nights full of, of my guys going in there and getting stuff from the house. So much more valuable than anything else. Hmm, more wood. Lots and lots of wood, actually. That's going to be a nice little haul. So we need a lockpick. What else do we need over here? Let's go ahead and clear this up as well. You can see there's two more things out here to look at. There's a few things up here maybe to look at. Now, one thing I did not understand was if you look at the stairs right there, because of the way... I, I'm not quite sure how this stairway works, but they can actually see you, and you can see up there through that little gap. Kind of weird. I've been in a few two-story houses that have had this makeup right here, and you really can't look up there that way too easily anyways. Looking down, yeah, but looking up, not really. Yeah, she's so slow. So four rooms total. Depending on how many goods are up there, maybe three trips for this entire area. Maybe four, considering the wood. Yeah, there's a lot of wood down there, and you can only stack two at a time. And we never did find a backpack. It'd be kind of cool to find one this time. 1.40 a.m. already. Alright, so we found our first book, parts, weapon parts, fertilizer, homegrown tobacco. We kinda, oh, well, I guess we're leaving because I thought that was something I could search. That's yeah, alright, we were completely filled up, so it's not that big of a deal. We just kind of lost looking at the very top of the building, but I kind of wanted Pavo for that anyways. Hey guys, I'm back. Is everybody tired? Here's your meds. I hope they are worth it. Wow, she actually says that for somebody who's sick. Cool. And we did not get raided. So let's see. Tired, hungry. Hungry and tired. Hungry and tired. Sick and hungry. So he's been sleeping plenty. Hope they help, my friend. So let's get her downstairs and in bed. Let's get uh, Anton downstairs and in bed as well. And if you look at the picture, you actually see the eyes blink from time to time. So it's not just a static picture that they put in there. It's a nice little touch they did. Let's see, you're hungry and you're sick. Can I make something? I can. I can make uh, two of these. So let's go ahead and do that. And while that's going on, you're going to go ahead and see what you can do for me. Hmm. All right, so we do not have enough wood to do the board up of the windows yet. We could do one more bed, which, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. Because I definitely want all my guys on guard duty at night. And the only way to do that is to have my guys sleep during the day. Okay, so Pavel is done. I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, eat some food, I guess. And he can't actually make any more food until somebody eats that last one so I'm gonna have her go ahead and do just that radio would be great for uh, their, their their depression I guess yeah we'll go ahead and do it kind of not that important to be honest but I'd like to nip some things in the bud before they become an issue Let's 
So I feel ill. I have to rest. Okay, so he's going to go down there and get some sleep. She's going to go ahead and make some more food for me. Maybe. She'll make one more. There we go. So she's going to make two more. Uh, it's a pretty cool game, Wiry Beard. It is free on Steam for the next four days if you guys want to give it a shot. Uh, there's multiple parts of this game, as you guys can... If you caught it the very first time around, I actually had different tunes, different characters when I first started. Uh, this time, they've given me some other people to work with, which is actually kind of interesting. It changes the game up just slightly based off of the skills, the traits that they start with. And it's kind of random as well based off of the items you find in the different houses. And I found a lot more ingredients this time around than I did the last time. So I was able to upgrade really, really quickly, which is kind of cool. I'm also interested in seeing what kind of random events happen to me this time. And whether I get attacked as often as I did the first time. Because I got attacked almost every night. After maybe the first three or four nights of no attacks, every night was an attack. So she is just hungry. Let's take her upstairs and grab some food. This is a great game. I can't remember if I played it or watched another streamer play it. I just remember really liking the bleak atmosphere. Uh, so do I. It's, uh, it kind of reminds me of some of the other games I played recently. One where you actually had to watch the people through cameras. And you had to like rat on them if uh, you didn't like what they were doing. Or you could try to protect them. Like you had both options in there. But you had to protect yourself as well. This one's more... You know, I could feel this one being perfect for, like, zombies. If they threw, like, zombies in here somewhere, this would really fit in well. So we're going to have him go ahead and finish building the radio. And then we're going to listen to it and see if they got any tips for us. Didn't really get too many good tips last time. Sometimes they told us coffee was going to go up in price. Um, told us not to go across the front lines one night as well, which we never even got close to going anywhere near that. The rebel leader instructs us to... Uh, yeah. Listeners not to cross the front line. So that's the exact same thing we got the first time around. And it's pretty much all we can do. So we're going to go ahead and end the day there. Let's see. Everybody looks like they're in good condition. Except for Pavel who is still sick. So let's tell him to sleep in a bed. We're going to have her go out yet again. Not really much of a choice. But we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, gonna keep Anton for a cougar there on guard duty as, as well as our uh, Savita girl. And we're going to the same spot this time. And we're gonna try to stock up on wood as much as we can. There we go. Nice amount of wood already. I think there was a little bit more food in here that we didn't pick up, and we went through pretty much all the food we got last time, so... Uh, yeah, we'll finish getting all the sugar tin for a stack. Let's go downstairs. This is where we're gonna fill up. Now, I don't believe the teddy bear does anything, but we're going to pick it up just so we can dump it somewhere else. I don't have to keep going downstairs. And we're going to take a look upstairs as well. There we go. We'll leave that there for now. It's interesting. I like the cinematic of the fire. Oh my god, so much stuff. This may take more than three trips. I was kind of figuring out how long it would take us to uh, to make the, the journey, but it's definitely going to be a little bit longer. So it's locked. Let's go ahead and double check, make sure nobody's in there. And we will need a lockpick, so let's go ahead and empty this box out with maybe a few of the gears. I'll go with four. And tell this lady to run on home. Very quick night. <laughs> please, please did not get attacked yet. I, I don't need that being a thing. Day three. Welcome to hell. Hey, honey. I'm home. 
Look at all the stuff I got. I wish I could bring this home every night. I'm going to just kind of chilling over there in the living room. Seems that Anton is starting to feel a bit unwell. Oh, man. Is it because there's no fire to be had in the in this little thing over here? Might be. Let's go ahead and see what we can make. Can we upgrade? We cannot. Very, very close to being able to do that, but not quite there again. Allows us to make more useful electrical appliances, such as heat lamps for gardens and mixture for herbal workshops and middle workshop. We didn't build that last time, so I don't know what we're going to access to by building that. We are going to make a few more of these. Let's do four. Oh, man, that's that's a hard one because I want the, the heat. Otherwise, my guys will keep getting sick. But I also want to fix some of the holes. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make one of these. I'm going to put this uh, downstairs where we had the other one. Kind of vice versa a little bit because my table was on the opposite side of the furnace. But good enough that I'll remember where it's at. So he's hungry, slightly sick. Let's get him some medicine. And he's tired. Let's have her make some food. And I think this is where all my fuel went, actually. So let's make uh, two start with. Uh, slightly sick, and he's still recovering. How about you? On meds and slightly sick. So let's go downstairs. You're going to get in the bed. You, what can you make? Still nothing you can make there, but that's fine. All right, let's fix one thing in the house. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're short. Hmm. Well, if we're that short, we'll make one more thing of wood there. I was going to make three, but whatever. She uh, didn't want to cooperate with me. Not enough water. All right, so they're just going to starve for today. Let's go ahead and listen to the radio, see what they're saying. If you're listening to the radio, we regret to announce that our colleague, Jovan, died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. So the same thing happened last time. Nothing big of a, a surprise there. Another lock there. Hungry and tired. Go to bed. You're hungry and tired as well. And she is actually, I believe, the uh, person I send out. So she really needs to get some rest. But we got somebody coming. Have something you might like. Let's see what you got for sale, lady. Or, little, it's not a lady. Little dude. Oh, okay. Pick locks. Quite common item. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get both of them. We could sell the... Uh, Interesting one exchange fine. We have a deal might be able to actually get a little bit more out of them. So we'll see I think we're short two of these. Oh, that's it. He won't he won't do it Other things get uh, easier when you drink it. So it seems it's good item. That's the same picture That we had earlier, but it wouldn't actually let us use it to make those bandages All right, that's the deal for now Bandages get them. I wish I could. I just don't have anything to trade them right now. I had medicine, but I had to use it on all my sick people over here. Not giving me much of a, a choice. Let's uh, open up some of these items over here. See if maybe, maybe we get some bandages in here. I right, got another book, some food. I mean, overall, not really worth a pick lock. Uh, wasn't there one? I, I think I'm going to save it. I don't want to use it down there just yet. I think there was one in the house that we're going to where I need that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take it with us next turn. Let's see. He's on meds. He needs to rest. However, she does not. I mean, it'd be nice if she did, but... Sick and recovering. Okay, well, that's all I can do there. Only three days, and it already looks like an infirmary. I know, right? These guys get sick so fast. He 
we turn this on? Okay, I'm gonna put three in there. That might not be the best choice, but at this point, it is what it is. Okay, what do we got? Pavel is still slightly sick. How many times are you gonna get sick, Pavel? Hungry and tired. Well, that's all right. You're on guard duty. Scavenge, yes, please. And he is slightly sick too, so he's gonna stay in bed. So we're only gonna have one person on guard duty and two people in bed. We're gonna give her the pick lock. And we're gonna see what's in that area that we could not open before. Pavel needs to stop licking the windows. <laughs> that could explain why he keeps getting sick. That house is disgusting. And nobody seems to want to clean anything. Like, I'm, I'm left there all on my own. I'm trying to do the dishes. I gotta tell these guys to go to the bathroom. It's like the Sims all over again. Taking the teddy bear. I think there was a locked door upstairs too, right? I think I needed two pick locks. Dang it. This better be worth it. Ah, there's our bandage, right? We wanted that. Uh, some alcohol, and we could take some bullets or some shell cases. We'll hold off on those. We'll come back for that. <laughs> the Sims post-apocalyptic expansion? I'd play it. I don't know about you guys. I'd play that one. Mm, so many good things here. Homegrown tobacco, gun parts, part, oh, I want it all. Well, teddy bear, I'm sorry, but you're always the first choice to stay behind. We'll take the books. Um, sugar? Sugar, well, we don't really need 10. Or 20, I should say, so we'll take 10 back with this. Okay, so we'll leave that there. We'll go upstairs and see what we can get. Mm. This is where all the good stuff is. So, yeah, we're leaving some stuff behind. Sorry, folks, but we need the wood. Shell casings, not in a big hurry to get that. Cigarette... Yeah, that's staying behind. And that's all we can do there. One more pick lock. So, two more trips at least. Two more trips. Mm, that's a game I'd be all over. Right? So would I. It'd be, it's an interesting idea. I wonder why they haven't done it yet. Maybe too scary? They did do some ghost in, oh man, I believe it was Sims 3, Sims 4, in like the graveyard or something. Make a big stockpile for when you're back. Alright, no attacks. No attacks tonight. What do we need to do? Let's go downstairs and see what needs to be built. Hmm. So we could do this. We have enough for it. Could get some rainwater going. Which would be nice because we're kind of running out of water. Or we could fix up the house. I kind of want to lean towards at least doing one to the house. Anton's hungry. You're very tired. We'll go to bed. There's plenty of space. And he's still sick and recovering. What can you build? Might just have him make some food. Uh, one more bed might be a nice idea, but we're going to hold off. And we're going to do the herbal workstation right there. Let's see. Very tired. She's not getting up. Hmm. Pavel, you have been absolutely worthless to me. You are like, uh, what's his name last time? Bruno. From the very beginning, you were just sickly and just costing me resources. Let's have you go downstairs and go to bed. Uh, 
Well, can you make it here, my friend? Uh, you know, at least we can make cigarettes now. We could sell cigarettes. They use cigarettes. They're they're happy about getting those. We can also make some medicine here. Based on herbs, sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Still, they're better than nothing. But it's that first one, that one out of zero. No idea what that is. It looks like alcohol. It is not, because when I've made alcohol in the past, it does nothing for it. So tobacco... Homegrown tobacco for making rolled up cigarettes, not nearly as good as the real thing, but we can use it to grow it ourselves. But we can grow it ourselves. Hmm. Does that mean I should save it? I do use the same stuff that makes the tobacco. I use it in my bandages, actually, now that I'm looking at that. It's not good. That means I can't make uh, can't make cigarettes willy nilly. I have to decide ahead of time. Nothing I can do here. All right. So how about over here? Can we make the lockpick that we need? We can. We can make. We could make a couple of them, but I think we only really need one, right? No, we need two. We need one for the basement below. So we'll go ahead and use the resources to do that. find out what's down here finally oh we got somebody upstairs let's leave that undone help please help me don't turn your back on me please what do we got you're the first person who opened the door thank you so much quickly my brother was shot by a sniper please help me carry him home or he'll die there's no time to lose Oh, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and risk it, guys. We're going to go out there and see if my guy can survive. She's very tired, so we'll leave her there. He's still recovering. He's content. Actually, she's very content. She's tired, but she's content. Mm. Let's wake her up. I'm surprised she's so content, though. We're going to get that last lockpick done. That was really early in the day for him to come by. Almost to the point where I should have said, give me a little while. And then right before the day was over, go back up there and tell him, okay, I agree to it. That might have been a better use of my time without taking the penalty of losing somebody through an entire day. I, I mean, you know. <laughs> you opened the pick. I mean, you did the pick lock. Or lock pick, but you didn't actually opened the door for some reason. Just kind of stood there and looked at it. So this is where I stuck my alcohol making factory. I think if I do it again, this is a good spot for it, but I'll put my water distilling station right next to it so that I can just take the water out of it, you know, kind of use it all at the same time rather than making trips back and forth through different stairs. Uh, help the dude home, then kill the two and take their stuff. I mean, I wouldn't put it past this game to have that as an option. You definitely do kill people that you kind of regret. The very first time I played, I walked in on a, a grandmother and a grandfather. And I kind of killed them. <laughs> I felt very, very bad about it. I didn't realize what I was doing because my very first house that I walked into where I got attacked, there were soldiers. There's two guys. And they knifed me. And kill Pavel afterwards. He, he got wounded, came back home, I bandaged him up, put him in bed, and then we got raided that night. Guess he got injured yet again, and that was, you know, the nail in the coffin, literally, that sent him overboard. The next time I ran into those, uh, you know, two older ladies, or lady and guy, and, you know, I overreacted. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have done what I did. Oh, not another, oh, dude, nope, nope, we're gonna hold off. Did that already use it? Let me check my inventory. No, no, I still have it. So it did not use it. We're going to keep that for the house. He is fond of murdering old people. I kind of, like, I'm not fond of it, but I've actually done it too many times to say that it's not something that happens. All right, she's going to bed. And we are going to end the day here. All right, so slightly sick, Pavel. You are worthless. Why do I even have you? Let's put you on guard duty. At least you're not tired. 
She's hungry, but she's content. She's good to go. Guard, hungry and content. She's good to go as well. So she's going to be on guard duty. And we're going back. Let's put the uh, lockpick in, and we're good to go. Uh, the only downside is this house is pretty much spent, guys. We will have to go someplace new after this. And that is... It's never fun. You never know what you're going to see. Uh, murder with a smile. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not that bad. What are you doing, lady? Come on, finish. Come on, give me some wood. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted right here. I know it's kind of a mundane thing to get, but that's that's what I needed. Now I need a knife. Give me a knife. No, you didn't quite give me a knife. Give me some weapon parts, though. Oh, man. We're going to have to come back again, aren't we? So we got some coffee, homegrown tobacco, fertilizer, and weapons parts. Let's go ahead and read this. Uh, one of the friars dropped on the city, it reads. This is a one of the flyers. This is a zone of anti-terrorism operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believed them after the aristocrats had them committed. All right, so some mistrust there between the rich and the poor. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will have to come back one more time. Let's take the book back with us this time. So those two things up there, I believe that's the only places left to search, right? Or was there something in here? Oh, yeah, there's definitely... Okay, so we're coming back one more time for, like, the ammo. Nothing in that room. There was still something in here. Oh, man, I really hope we can get everything on the next pass. All right, we're heading back. Wish me luck, guys. We did have one of our team members go off on a rescue mission. No guarantee that they're going to survive. Haven't actually had anybody die out there because of that, but I think it's possible. We got two people in there, not three. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got, ladies and gentlemen. You've been raided. Someone came at the night to take our things by force. Oh, man. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so we managed to fend them off. Too bad we had no weapons and none of us were wounded. And the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Anton returned to us after helping a wounded man. So we didn't get anything for helping the wounded man, but maybe we got a little bit of uh, goodwill that might come back for us. Or maybe that was just an excuse to get one of us out of the house so that they could attack us when nobody was looking. So we are very, very, very hungry here, guys. What do we need? We need water. We have no water. Hmm. All right, well, before we use all our fuel, let's take a look and see if maybe we can make the distill. No, we don't have enough, do we? Oh, that sucks. <sighs> All right, well, we could do a board up. Yeah, we'll do that. What about you? Very hungry and tired. Well, there is an option. It's not the greatest option, but it is something we could do. We could eat raw food. Which I think, uh, I think we might do. They're not going to like it. You know, it's not going to satisfy them much. Still very hungry. Like the way they phrase that. They're like, oh yeah, you ate, but I'm still incredibly. Maybe the wounded man will join up. I hope so. There we go. So he's just hungry. She's very hungry. Is she eating? There we go. 
go. All right, let's take a look at him. He's very hungry as well. And he's hungry and tired. Well, he's... He's going to sleep. Slightly sick still, really? What do I gotta do to cure this guy? Maybe this will do it. I've never actually used that bottle before. I think that's like the super deluxe edition of curing people. It's the right dose for today, really? Just the right dose for today only. Let's go to bed. What about you? You're very hungry and tired. Let's check the radio. You're listening to the radio. We regret to announce that our colleague, uh, you've already said that. Hmm. What are you gonna do today? Now you could eat, it's not gonna satisfy him though. So I wanna save that last little bit of food just in case. We're also gonna make a little bit more fuel since it looks like we're out of fuel. I don't want anybody else to get sick. Actually, we're out of fuel. Hmm. Should we use it? Yeah, let's go ahead and make one. I kind of hate using that one, but let's make one. If someone shows up with the name Hans, kill it and eat it. Oof. I don't know if we're going to eat anybody. There we go. One fuel in there. Pick or a crowbar. Hmm. We're going to do one pick because we still have that container downstairs. And if we're incredibly lucky, Pavel will get off of his butt, stop being sick, be part of the community do something for once and I can rotate people in and out of guard duty which would be amazing there we go medication we got some herbs we got some water thankfully we got some water we got some materials and we got some books which supposedly is supposed to make people happy more mouths to feed I was doing pretty good on the food until I ran out of water then I had to eat raw food which just doesn't go as far Uh, still do not have enough food or enough water to do this. You need five. I had no idea that thing was making so much water last time. Otherwise, I probably would have made that sooner. Okay, Pavel. Slightly sick and on meds. Go to bed, Pavel. Just go to bed. Very hungry and tired. Well, Anton, you're going to go ahead and sleep in a bed as well. You're going out. And you're going to be on guard duty. You're the only one on guard duty tonight. So you better do good. So we could go back and collect the bullets in the shelled cottage. I'm going to wait and do that at another time. We're going to go check out something else. Uh, Semi-detached housing is danger. Kind of want to stay away from that. Huge amounts of food, though. Definitely kind of nice. Caution advised at the St. Mary's Church. And the decrepit swap has huge amounts of materials, some weapons, lots of parts, but no food. Let's check out the garage. Some food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. What does it mean by possible trade? I don't I don't know what that means. Like maybe I could run into somebody that actually sells items. Like maybe I bring items with me. How does that work? Hmm. I think if I have to go someplace where caution is advised, I want I want food. I need food. Oh man. Alright, we'll try the garage. It only has a little bit, but it's better than like danger. And no weapons. No weapons yet. A possible trade mean don't kill granny. I wonder if the owners are still around. Seems like there's nobody here yet. Alright, so we got some components, some wood. We're going to take all of that. Someone scrolled on the wall. No more hiding. We meet in heaven. 
Oh, well, that's just depressing. This is really sad. Oh, okay. Well, plenty. Plenty of these things. Um, let's get one more wood, and we'll hold off on taking any of that until later. We actually want all that, but I need food to start with. Hey, you. I need meds for my father. Got some? Oh, he's willing to trade. I, I didn't bring any with me, no. Unfortunately. What do you got? Um, you got some decent stuff. My father's unwell. Do you have any medication or bandages? I'll bring some next time, buddy, if you don't attack me. And it looks like he's not gonna. That's great. Private property. Oh, it's private property. I can't take any of it. Holy crap, look how much stuff is in here. So if I take any of this, I'll probably instantly become, like, attackable. Like somebody's going to kill me. Don't touch our stuff. There's a shovel in there. What is this, a gun? There's water. There's a lot of water in there. Someone's here. Oh, no. Is he going to shoot me? What are you guys doing? That's right. Stay away. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're fine. They're fine. It's just that I busted in through the door. That's what it was. All right. Let's go up. Maybe when they're not looking, we can steal all their stuff. You're going to get aggro. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty good at that, actually. It's self-defense if they're coming right for you, right? It's that old South Park saying. Good thing I have a saw blade. Actually, I don't have a saw blade, but I did see one downstairs. Parts. Okay, how about, can we go up? No, it won't let us go up, huh? So he's going to stay right there and block my path. Hmm. So he wants bandages or meds. Hey, what are you doing? Step back. How much stuff is in here? Seems like a lot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to play this the nice way. We're going to take what we can get now. We'll come back with bandages and meds. We'll see what he has for sale that we can take. And then if things go sideways, we'll just, you know, kill everybody and take their stuff anyways. But I'm hoping if we do enough nice deeds, we can, you know, somehow manage to get them on our side. Maybe even bring them into our, our housing. Oh, man, I need that water, though. That's almost enough reason to kill him right there. <laughs> no, I just kill him. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I can make what I need here and, and get that water going. It's not going to be a bad deal. Found plenty of stuff. It's actually really not that much, but we'll go with it. Oh, crap. I still can't make it. We needed uh, cogs, and I didn't see any cogs there. Mm -mm -mm. Well, 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 what am I going to do? Let's see if I can make a shiv. I can't. I can't, <laughs> I can't make a knife. We needed gun parts, and there's gun parts at the original place. So I could go back there, take all the gun parts, make myself a knife, then come back. Mm. Ah, that's a hard one. I think maybe we should do that. We should go make a knife, come back with the bandages, trade them, see what that does for us. And if it doesn't do what we hope it will be, then we just kill them. And it might be a waste of bandages at that point, but... If we kill him and he drops all his loot, then we should get those bandages and, and medicine back. Right? That makes sense. 
very hungry. I know you're very hungry, dude. They're all very hungry. Oh, man. I don't want to lose anybody. Everybody's so hungry. And nobody's sick anymore, though. So we got the food. We just don't have water. I hate you. Let's listen to the radio. Sorry, guys. Beware of bandits or bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Hungry and tired. She's actually doing the best out of all of them. And she goes out hunting every night. No. You know what? We gotta kill these people. Got it. I didn't want to do it, but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyways. But I gotta get that dagger. I gotta get that knife before we can go in there and, and really have a a chance. I'm not tired, so he won't even sleep. Pavel's very hungry too. You know what? I may send Pavel out there. Because he has not been good for anything yet. Two on guard duty tonight, telling you. <laughs> we, we definitely will have some people on guard duty. So, let's see. Anton's going to be on guard duty. She's going to be on guard duty. Pavel. Pavel, you're going to be on scavenging duty tonight. And she is going to get... Guard duty as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Can we change to the cottage? We're not going to take anything back with us, right? Actually, let's... Let's risk it at the garage. I don't think I have two nights to spare, so let's do one bandage and one medicine... And say scavenge. This better be good. You better be, you know, very, very friendly to me. Let's see exactly what I need. I can give you a lot for this. All right, so we need food. You gotta be kidding me. Show me some more. Let's see what else you got for food. What about water? I need all your water. Very generous. I still need more. Fine, we have a dill. Nah, he wants more than that. What else can we get out of him? Nope. How about some wood? Nope, not that either. Actually, instead of the wood, can I get some gun parts? I only need two. Nope. Hmm. That's, that's the best I'm gonna be able to do, I think, on that deal. Let me see, what about sugar? Like, anything other than what I have here is just going to push him over the edge. Yeah, Pavo isn't sick anymore. He finally got healthy just at the right time so that I could send him on a almost suicide mission. In a very, very short little while. Exactly what he's going to be doing. Good thing I have a saw blade. Let's start cutting. So I am able to sneak by these guys. The item has been broken. So let's be very, very careful. We are behind enemy lines now. Doesn't look like anybody's in here. Can we jump down? Oh, no. Come on. Shut that door. Stop making noise, dude. So easy, so easy to bust through stuff. Oh yeah, this is this is not what I need. 
Like there's literally nothing in here I need. Maybe the cogs. More wood. I'd be happy to get that later, but for now, not so much. I'll take the cogs. Hmm. Parts. So that's gonna let us go out of the uh, the area. Let's go down. See what we got in here. Nope, more wood. Nope, more parts. And the door is locked, so all we can do is kind of peer through it. But all the good stuff, all the good stuff is stuck up here where these guys are roaming. Go ahead and look through the garbage over here. There's a note. Sophia, we took your jewelry. I am so sorry. We have to pay the boatman who smuggled us out. We can't wait any longer. I'll make it up to you a hundred times, Leon. Let's take a look. Maybe we can sneak past him. He is sleeping. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's try opening the door. Something is blocking it from the other side. So yeah, we have to open that up somehow from the other side. Or possibly open the door up that way and get out. Try to have some sleep. Let's see if he ever leaves the room. He does leave the room. So we need to bring a pick lock or a lock pick with us. Yeah, we'll do that next time. All right, let's fill up our inventory. That's everything we could take. Yep. Oh, man. Well, we finally got some water. Not just a man with a plan. The downer party. Pavel isn't sick anymore. Two guard duty at tonight telling you. Axe, then use it on him. Oh, man. You know, I don't... Again, I don't really want to kill anybody if I can avoid it. We got food. That's what's important. Antarin is starving. We need to get him some food. Pavel is starving. Well, this is what we're going to do. Who is not very... Okay, so you're just very hungry and you're already standing right there. So you're going to make some food for everybody. We need vegetables and we need some... Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and make one. <laughs> that's going to tell you to do more than one, but I forgot to hit the bumper. Let's do, yeah. Mm, let's see, who is, yeah, you're starving. I'm gonna have you come over here for the canned foods. Because I don't believe I can use canned foods for anything. Have you get one of those. Now, the canned food is supposed to be better, more nutritious. So he's still very hungry. Very hungry and starving. Let's get him up there. Get some canned food on him. Thought I brought a little bit more back than that. What we could do, because that's a nice resource to have, I like the fact that if I don't kill that guy, I can trade with him. I might try raiding a different place tonight and getting, getting just pure food out of that. only make one right yeah All right, let's have him go ahead and eat one more Pavel well Pavel's going out so let's have him eat let's see what she can make 
Can we make the water thing yet? Yes, we can finally make uh, the water. So let's put that down here. We still got to make some filters to go with it, which thankfully we can make a few of. Let's do uh, four of those to start with. He's tired, so let's get him some sleep. He's gonna be on guard duty tonight. She's very hungry. Not much we can do about that. Uh, we're out of fuel too, huh? Let's get a little bit of fuel going in there if we can. That way uh, nobody gets sick again. So we're going to wait for him to finish that, and because she's already down here, she'll just be able to go ahead and stick it right in there. One out of three. How do I... How many? Four. Savetta made the food but can't have it. Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the cook's job to make the food. She got to smell it at least, which is more than some of the other people would, you know, probably give their right arm to smell that food for a good half an hour. She'll eat tomorrow if we're lucky. It's crazy how you can have different things in different playthroughs that are the, the hard resources to get food because I wasted it because I didn't... Uh, didn't build this thing soon enough, so I had water. I actually had to eat raw food. I'm not playing catch up. All right, what do we got in here? Anything? No. Can I make a knife, please? Please say I can make a knife. I still cannot make a knife. We need wood for that. All right, so uh, only three beds. Well, you're gonna have to stay up then. So Pavel, you're going on scavenging duty. You're on guard. You're on guard. And you're on guard. Let's see. Oh, there's a quiet house up here. Okay, so now we got different things that we can look at. Lots of food, and it's a quiet house. We're going here. There's a supermarket right here, but it's danger. So let's <laughs> let's risk it. Quiet house is right up my alley. Please don't let anybody be inside. Let's go ahead and check it. Why wouldn't it let me... It won't actually let me do anything with these. It's the old people again. What a strange visitor. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. Can I talk to you? Please don't take my wife's stuff. So there's medicine in here. Are you looking for valuables? I'm afraid we sold everything. So he's just gonna follow me around. So I can't steal anything. I beg you, don't take the food. Redemption run? I don't know. I mean, if they're not gonna let me take their stuff, what am I supposed to do? If I don't take this food now, my guys die. So, old lady. <laughs> Why do they give me these options? I don't want to hurt anybody. Just give me your stuff. Oh man, this sucks. Uh, 
All right, guys. I am an old man killer. Give me another option. Let, let me talk to you. There's a letter from the Grandpa Bernard. Ugh. Why do I got to kill these people? I am a monster. Because I'm actually, like, considering it. I heard that you rob people blind. Why do I got to kill? Why? Old, old man. Oh, dude. And he, he takes it like an old man, too. God, I hate that. Oh. Lost a little bit of my soul right there. Help! Help! If I don't have to kill her... Can't scab it. Maybe I didn't even have to kill any of these people. I could have just stole. She's crying. I can't just leave her without her husband. Oh my god! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jeez. This is a rough game. You gotta make some hard choices in here. If they, it was real life, there would have been a few more options, but you know they're they're not giving you those abilities. The needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many, or something along those lines. <laughs> Notch is horrible. What kind of monster art makes this game. We'll hold off on those. Now that the old man is dead, we can loot his corpse. Pavel will now have a, a nervous breakdown. He might. He might, but he got to feed. He got to, you know, have some his hunger satiated at least now. So he should be at least somewhat happy. I wonder if I use the same person to murder everybody, if, if they really go downhill. Alright, that's pretty much all I can take back with me. I say all the killing has to be done by Popple. <laughs> He's the only one that can uh, that can take that bullet, huh? Spare all the other people the, the traumatic stress of dealing with the the murdering he did it by hand too like that has to be so much worse than using a gun or something that you, you're gonna feel it oh bloody hell this death was the last straw i'm done yeah see he's his mind is broken now you've been raided someone came at night to take our things by force oh man okay so someone tried to rob us they came in force and they were armed, but we managed to fend them off. Too bad we had no weapons. Serta was wounded by the attackers, but they didn't steal anything. She put more guards on, or people on guard. So he is depressed now. Very. And he's also tired. Let's see. Bolster spirit. I'm going to have her go downstairs. She can't even run anymore. She's so hungry. She's very tired, too. This time we managed to drive them off. What about next time? How about you? He's sad. Can I not? Oh, this guy won't do anything. He's too sad to work. She's slightly wounded. Well, she needs to go upstairs to get a bandage. Uh, she's sad as well. So she can't do anything either. Aw, oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. I murdered two old people and like my whole town. My whole, everybody falls apart. I can't even talk to him. They won't talk to Pavel. They don't want to have anything to do with this guy. And he can't do anything either. It's pure luck they broke off the attack. I fear the next one. Can you do anything? She can't do anything either. What the crap? Oh my god. What just happened? I got food? He can jump up, but he, he can't click on anything. You see, like, it doesn't highlight... They knew them? <laughs> oh god. Maybe. Brought something to barter. I'm sorry, man. We're not dealing with barter today. I can't click on you. I quite literally cannot click on you. There we go. It's unbroken. 
I don't know. That was kind of buggy there for a second. That's that's weird. What do I got to barter with? Nothing. Maybe uh, maybe some medicine. We'll sell two things of medicine. We'll see what we can get out of you. Actually, we'll do one thing of medicine, and we'll do all your wood. Fine, we have a deal. How about more? I want more. Ah, oh, that was too much, huh? About one more, and we'll do... There we go. Okay, so now that we can actually do something, which is weird that it wouldn't let us do it earlier... We're going to go ahead and make some food here. Mm, yeah, we can only do one of these. Let's see. She is still very hungry. He's hungry. She's very hungry. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of those cans before we send her to bed. She's very tired. Build a guitar. Oh, and she's sad. <laughs> the problem with the guitar is you got to have the guitar piece. Like, you can have all the other ingredients for it, which I probably do, but you need the guitar piece. And I haven't found one of those. I didn't find one on the last game. I didn't find one on this one. He's depressed, he's hungry, and he's tired. Can I not talk to any people? She's very hungry. Well, we're going to let the very hungry person... Grab some food before we go all out on the rest. Slightly wounded. Let's go ahead and grab some bandages. And have her go down bed to, to sleep. You think maybe she uh, she's sad because I killed the older people? Like, it said children is who she loves. Not like old folks. Guy's still over there too. We got depressed, hungry, and tired. Hmm. Doesn't really have anything I need a lot of to uh, to trade for, so we're gonna wait. Let's, uh, let's see if we can upgrade some stuff, though, if he will stop running around. Yeah, see the guitar right there? You can see at the very last one, it's, a, it's basically a broken guitar that we need the parts of before we can do that. Mm, how many? Let's go ahead and do three of these. They're all sad. Yeah, they are. Hungry, sad, and tired. Weapons. Still don't have any weapons parts. I know where to find them. I have Anton eat a little bit. Actually, I'm going to have him make some... Some food. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to get vegetables anytime soon. Like, that's obviously better. I think in the long run. I'll do three. Bandage and recovering. I don't think she's going to recover in time. Coffee is becoming less and less available. All right, so it's on the coffee stage now. Let's uh, go ahead and eat. The cool thing about eating this food or cooking it ahead of time is that when somebody breaks into your house, there's nothing they can do. They can't take it. So he's just sad now. This is a sad panda. 
right, so we are going to have Pavel go back out to scavenge. Slightly wounded and bandaged. We're going to have her sleep. Yes, that's perfect. Sad and tired. Well, you're staying awake tonight. So are you. Going back to the scene of the crime. And we are going to uh, kill some people, I think. No, no there's nobody left. There is uh, definitely some water, though, that we should have gotten earlier. Nothing but useless trash. This wasn't available for me to even search at the very beginning when I first came in here. No! What? What? That? No, that's not what I did. Why are you so fast, Pavel? Why? I hate your guts, man. Ugh. Oh, Pavel. You make me hurt all over. First you're sickly, and then you go home. I didn't find anything useful because you left. You left. Like a speedy Gonzalez I have no control over. What? Oh, God, Pavel. I hate you. I hate you. And now you're very tired. You didn't even do anything. All this, I can't handle it anymore. Well, I might actually kill you. Oh, man, Pavel. Pavel, you know what you're going to go do next night, right? You're not going back to that house. You're going to, like, Sniper's Point or something. You've, you've earned a first-class trip to someplace very dangerous. We, we need some good stuff, and you're kind of annoying me, so... Pavel, it's time to say goodbye to you, my friend. <laughs> Couldn't take the pressure. Not only could he not take the pressure, but everybody, everybody is super sad about what he did. They want him gone. Then their conscience will be clear. They don't mind eating the food. They just, they don't want him there anymore. Well, there's nothing I can do. I didn't get any goods. I don't know what to do with these people this turn. Pavel came back with like four pieces of wood. She's hungry and she's sad. I wish I had left the city. Well, let's go upstairs and eat a little bit of food. Yeah, let's eat the can. She is hungry and very tired, so let's have her go to bed. Pavel, Pavel, Pavel. My friend, you're going to have a hard night tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, Notch agrees with me. Send Pavel into a dangerous area, so that's where he's going tonight. May not be a good plan. It may be the most brilliant plan ever, actually. Stand on guard duty. You go on on guard duty, too. All you are is sad. You're fine. Pavel, very hungry and depressed. I don't really care if you're hungry, because you're not coming back from this one. Uh, Semi-detached house is a danger. Caution advised. Lots of parts. Garage. Supermarket is dangerous, too. Hmm. Huge amounts of weapons in the supermarket. Why do I think that's going to be the worst spot to send him? Obviously, the best spot at the same time. So we're going in. Not even a dagger to his name. He's going in butt naked. No goods. No nothing. I wonder how much supplies are left. A lot, I'm guessing. Well, nothing good in there yet, Pavel. Oh, yeah, there's that Speedy Gonzalez I like about you. You're so good. This is pretty name for such a pretty face. Oh, something's going on in there. Somebody's about to get raped, it sounds like. Why can't I click on anything? No, I don't want to. I want to look. Why can't I look, Pavel? You freaking out on me again, man? I had to use the mouse there to actually click on that. Still, it won't let me do anything. Let me see if I can get the mouse. Yep, yeah, had to use the mouse again. No, I'm afraid I can't. The hell you can't. 
If you don't want to starve, you have to do what I tell you. Oh, what? What? We're gonna we're gonna break in and rescue her. I'm sorry, I have to go home. Come on, punch him! Punch him, Pavel! Don't just run around. Punch him! Oh no, Pavel! <laughs> God, why did it freak out on me? I couldn't actually attack. He just ran back and forth like um, like he knew what his fate was and why it was sending him in there. Pavel died. He was killed while looking for supplies. I did save some lady, though. That's right. She got out because uh, because of Pavel's sacrifice. I was raided, though. None of us were wounded. Gun beats fist all the time, bruh. <laughs> it was so close. I got all those hits on him and everything. Nah, like I couldn't do anything. Like the, the remote keeps freaking out for some reason. Ah, oh, man, why Pavel? No, I don't miss Pavel at all. Don't get on my bad side. He's still sad. Everybody should be happy now. Nobody else is like uh, falling apart in the pieces because Pavel's dead. I didn't get any more goods though. That's that's another thing. I'm not getting too many goods here. Managed to fend off the attack, but what if they attack one is next stronger? I don't know. Pavel killed by the ladies' man. It seemed pretty gruesome. I was not expecting them to have some type of like you know. Like I think she was about to get raped. That's what it sounded like. He was like forcing himself on her, and you know that's that's not cool. So. Hard times out there, but she got out. Now I want her to see her on my doorstep to replace Pavel. She's coming in. She knows I take care of my own. I treat him really well. I, I don't send him on suicide missions or anything like that. I send him out there to save women before they're ready for it. It was just a, it was just a big accident is all that was. Go to bed. You're going out there next, uh, Zalata. You're, you're next on the rotation. I need to get her a weapon, though. If only Pavel had, you know, a knife, he would have had a chance. Not even close. That wasn't even just like a regular gun. That was like a machine gun. Oh, he got a proposition for me. What do you got to say there? Hi there, neighbor. You aren't around from here, are you? I've come to tell you that there's an abandoned house nearby. The owners fled the city a long time ago, but it's still possible. If you help me get inside, we might find something valuable there. Yeah, we're going to send him out there. Yeah, she comes to join you, and her ability is that she loves cats. Uh, yeah, that sounds horrible. Sounds so horrible. But I did get... Look how many new buildings I got. So let's put sad face over here on uh, guard duty. Doesn't she look so sad? At least the... Uh, Salata, she's somewhat smiling. She's not completely depressed. The other one just looks like somebody killed maybe her cat, actually. So we got the hotel. Caution advised. Lots of food. Small yet luxury hotel previously owned by the travel agency. Presently occupied by some armed thugs. Screams are sometimes heard coming from the building. It's best to keep away from it. Uh, city hospital has been shelled several times and there was a fire and numerous bandits raids and yet it still operates some wards still admit patients and save lives mostly thanks to dr jeff Mav, or renowned surgeon who remains steadfast and keeps the others in line okay so that's kind of cool there's a shelled school the school was damaged by mortar shells no classes held for a long time recently a group of rebel militia men moved into the abandoned building they might be willing to trade with us this old apartment building used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son, but they fled before the siege. There are rumors that some shady-looking, well-armed individual is taking refuge there. We had better be careful if we decide to go there. Ah, uh, so danger is, is not a good one to go with. We want something... St. Mary's Church. That's where we just went, wasn't it? Where did we go? Semi-detached house? That's where we went. Hotel. City Hospital. Hmm. Let's try the City Hospital. I'm kind of curious to see what... Alright, Tara, take it easy. Uh, 
definitely will catch you guys tomorrow on that one if you're playing. Uh, let's go into uh, the hospital. I want to see if well, maybe we can meet the doctor, what his story is all about. No, 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 you're not going that way. What about the place that we trade meds to? That one is still up and running. We, we haven't killed everybody there. Careful, girl. I got my eye on you. Why, why don't I just kill you now and take your stuff? Somebody up there. So far, nobody's given me any flack about taking items that are, don't belong to me. Private property, so... Oh, man. Choices. It's locked. Let's see what the note says. It's all an excerpt from the damage report after one of the shellings. General surgery, 32 patients, 3 killed, 12 wounded. Neurology, 13 patients, 0 killed, 2 wounded. Children's ward, 34 patients, 32 killed, and 2 wounded. Oh my god. Intensive care, 55 patients, 9 killed, and 10 wounded. Seems that the children's ward took most of the damage. It's a good thing we didn't bring the, uh, you know, the one that loved the kids more than anything else. She might have had a breakdown after reading that. Haven't really found anything I want to steal yet. There's uh, some food, which would be nice to get. That's pretty much it for the bottom floor. Let's see, can we go up? Yeah, go up. No more shellings, please. Some more food here. What about you? Can we talk to you? Sorry, but we have patients in more serious condition. Oh, so I guess if maybe you come here with uh, a wound of some kind, she might be able to heal you without you having to do it yourself. That's kind of cool. Uh, that would be a nice addition to the uh, surrounding area that you can kind of come to when you need it. Uh, I don't think we're going to get that far. I think, uh, oh, there we go. Please behave yourself in the hospital. Let's see what happens when I steal something. We'll put something back in exchange. So, nothing actually happened because nobody saw me do it. Alright, I'm okay with that. I don't know, where are you going? Where are you going? Go back up. And here I was thinking that if you stole, they would immediately attack. So I shouldn't have killed the old guy and the old woman. I should have just taken their stuff. I need a gun. Yep. Can't kill that person either. A switch just to see if it was possible. Let's go up. Top floor. That's where all the goods are. Careful, girl. I got my eye on you. I bet you if I take something in front of this guy, he'll attack. Let's try it just to see. No? He actually didn't? Huh. I don't know, man. That, that definitely doesn't seem right. It seems like it should be a lot harder. Some bigger penalty. It's nice to know, though. I would have done it at the garage earlier where all that guy had all the food and water. Oh, evening. You have medicine or bandages. Ah, here we go. We can trade with this dude. What do we have? Do I want to make a donation to the hospital? What if I sell? 
this. Hmm. Let's take the crowbar. Okay, we'll give him another one. So that's pretty much all we can get. Let's let's give the sugar back. We'll take the wood. And we'll make that deal. Yeah, we will. I can't carry that much. Who can't carry that much? My guy? Oh, I guess so, because she's filled up on stuff. Dang it. Well, we'll just say she's not interested right now. At least we know we can come back. Let's put, uh, let's put the sugar away. Yeah, that's locked to you. All right, that's pretty much all we could do here. That was actually a pretty nice run. Very, very safe here, and I could steal anything I want without getting caught, so no downside whatsoever. Overall, pretty nice day there. But guys, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, take a small break here for about 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to grab something to eat, and then we're going to come back and finish our playthrough of this game. And then perhaps do a little bit of EverQuest afterwards for those of you who are kind of interested in catching a little bit of that. As always, guys, I'm AC Gamer. Definitely a game worth playing if you guys have not tried it yourself. This War of Mine is free to play for the next four days on Steam. Uh, go ahead and download. It's actually a fairly small game to download, so it won't take you too long. And this is only one side of the game. There was like another download content thing there that I haven't even tried yet. So definitely looking forward to that aspect. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely catch you guys in just a little bit. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually, but for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.